Today, we'll be taking a look at the vibration sensor on this LG front load washing machine. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. To begin, you must first remove this top here. Of course, it is held on by two Phillips screws on the back. Next, be very careful. Let's slide this sharp metal off, lift it up, and set it to the side. Now that we have the top removed, we have clear access to the vibration sensor here. Now the main reason why you'd be replacing your vibration sensor is that the unit will not go into any type of spin because it thinks it's off balance. You can usually see in there that the unit is not off balance and may actually throw an error code. If the shocks are good, you'll probably want to replace your vibration sensor. Now in order to replace it, you'll use the tack puller to go behind here and remove this strain reliever first. Then let's go ahead and take off the screws here. There is one screw on your strain reliever next to the sensor. Let's take that off and let's get the other one on the actual sensor. Pull those off. Next, we can lift up on it. Make sure you get your bracket. Press in on the locking pin to separate and set it to the side. When installing your new sensor, first, it's very important, let's plug it in first so that we do not drop it. Then, I'm going to get my bracket and a screwdriver. I'm going to carefully put the bracket on the new sensor. And then, we'll set it down. Goes this way. Set it down, and then let's put that new screw in. Be very careful so you do not drop it into the drum portion. Tighten it up. Let's get our screw for the strain reliever. Pop that one in. Push the other strain reliever back into the frame. Now we can reinstall the top. When reinstalling your top panel, be very careful. We don't want to slice and dice. Let's go ahead and sit it down. You'll want about an inch away from the front. That's where it actually drops down. And then you can slide it forward and it should match up with the front. Let's reinstall the two screws on the back. and this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.